All right, guys, this is one of my big properties right here. It is a little bit after six here on in Georgia, 6 p.m. Gonna get this knocked out. Let this one go for about two and a half, three weeks. As you can see, it got a little body on it. So, and the sun is behind me. So, hey, that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and get this knocked out. Stay tuned. Well, guys, this is the after pick of the big property today. As you see, the sun gone down. It is 8.15. So it took me exactly two hours by myself for this big old property. But I tell you what, it turned out beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. So cut this on uh, two and a quarter. So come back in about a week or so and uh, be, it'll be at a perfect three height, I believe. And uh, can probably maintain this one on three. Get the grass looking lush and pretty. It filled in really well. So I didn't overseed this property at all. I just let it come back. Just if you recall, this was my very first big property that I got and it has turned out exceptionally well. It's gonna be real good. Owner's obviously happy about the job. So that's it guys. I am uh, running gator blades on my mower and uh, I think I'm gonna run them the entire season. Just um, get them, um, replace them. I got me a new set. So I, I just like how it cuts and all of that folks use high lifts and to each his own, right? But I like how that gator blade with the teeth leaves the lawns and the impression. So in the cut quality, I think it's a, it, it does. It doesn't leave all that blow off um, on the on the lawn and all that kind of stuff, which I like. It leaves it crisp and clean, guys. All right. Well, that is it for this evening. Uh, stay tuned. Be posting some more. Um, picked up a new property, so clean up job. So I'll be posting that one here shortly. Thanks, guys. New Hope Cuts. Keep going. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. See you.